Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have a copy of Holy Festival of Colors to show you by Floodgate Games. Holy Festival of Colors is a fun abstract strategy game that includes some area majority, hand management, and pattern building. The game includes a three-tier board where players start on the bottom level and slowly progress up depending on that player's strategy. I'm here to tell you four things that you need to know about this game. Number one, the theme. Holy, the Festival of Colors is an ancient Hindu festival that originates in India, dating back to the 4th century. It's a celebration marking the beginning of spring after a long winter, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. It's usually celebrated in March, and in fact, I have personally been to a holy festival back in 2005, and it was a great experience. During the festival, everyone will be throwing colored powder at everyone else, and you will see this in the game. Although the game is an abstract game, I love how they added this theme to this game. Number two, the components. As I mentioned, the game includes a three-tier board. This you don't see so much in games, and I love how they made this game different than the normal. The three-tier board also includes a mechanic for the gameplay, which I will mention later, but it meshes good with what the game provides. Also, it's easy to set up and take down those tiers, and it seems like doing this a handful of times already has not shown anywhere or problems to the components. I also really like the player markers. You will play one of four different wooden animals, either a tiger, a peacock, an elephant, or an alligator. Players also have matching color tokens representing their colored powder that they are throwing during the festival that are played out on the board. The score track has a nice color to it and the game includes square player cards and larger square rivalry cards for in-game points. Overall, the components are great for this game. Number 3. The Gameplay Two to four players take turns performing actions to either throw color, move their player token, or climb up to the tier above. Players will have three cards at a time from their own deck in their hand, and when throwing color they will choose one card that they can rotate and choose any one of the four different orientations. Your player token must replace one of the filled in spaces on the pattern with the remaining representing places where you're going to add your color tokens onto the board. But you can never place any of your own color tokens on top of another player's. Throwing color at another player's token, however, is allowed and is called a direct hit. When this happens, instead of placing one of your color tokens on the board, you will give it to the player that you hit to be placed in their supply. And then you will gain one point at that moment. You don't want to collect other players' color tokens as they are worth two points to the owner at the end of the game. During the game, if none of the three cards are worth playing or the player doesn't want to use them, they can instead discard any one card to place a single color token anywhere on the same level that they are currently at. Players can also move to position themselves better to place out more tokens. And when moving, the player can move any space on the same level that they are currently at except if it's already containing another player's token. And when moving, players might also want to collect sweet tokens that are laid out on the board by moving on top of them. When doing this, they will collect them and add them to their supply. At the end of the game, whoever has the most sweet tokens will gain 5 points for each player with fewer sweet tokens than them. Lastly, as the board gets filled with tokens, you will want to climb up to the next tier. The player will need to be located in a space that is surrounded orthogonally with color tokens, and then they will take the action to move up to the next tier in the same position from the tier that they are located on to the one above. Players can never move back down, however, but when they throw out their colors, if there is no token on the lower tier in the same position on the board, it will drop down to the lowest tier that it can. This is important because at the end of the game, all tokens on the bottom tier is worth one point each, and the second tier, they are worth two points each, and on the top tier, they are worth three points each. So you will want to try to get your tokens higher, but depending on what's below or the way that you throw your colors will determine where they stick and how many points that you will score for each of them. 
Players take turns taking one action per turn until a player runs out of their colored tokens, or if a player runs out of cards in their deck. Scoring is then done by counting up points for each level that each of their tokens is placed on, two points for each color token in all other players' supply, and five points for each player with fewer sweet tokens than you. Players will then score the rivalry cards that were placed out at the beginning of the game. And if achieved, they will gain the points listed on those cards. Whoever then has the most points wins the game. Number 4. My Thoughts on the Game This game is a nice gateway game for beginners or for players who like this type of complexity in a game. The game is very easy to pick up and learn, easy to teach, looks great on the table, and is one of those games where casual players can enjoy it and the more strategic players can also enjoy it at the same time. I enjoy the mechanics in the game, especially the way that you need to build from bottom to top, letting tokens drop from the above tiers down to the lower ones to score points. And for me, as a more strategic player, I can see how this game gives me enough to think about that it will satisfy my brain. The things I'm thinking about is which card to use, which orientation of that card. Do I need to move my token before throwing my color? Maybe I need to pick up some sweet tokens. Is it time to move to the above tier? How do I set myself up to perform a direct hit? And then referring back to the rivalry cards, making sure that I can fulfill those. So the gameplay for me is very satisfying and the look and all the colors in the game is amazing and the three tier board is something not seen in many other games making it very unique. So grab your colored powder to throw during Holy with your family and friends in Holy Festival of Colors by Floodgate Games. Again this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table. Thank <laughs> you.